Hey everyone, this is Carla R. Jenkins. This video, I'm going to talk about the five uh, reasons why you should keep your resume updated. So I, I am doing this video because I had a situation where actually updating my resume has been very beneficial to me and I'm doing this video because I want the same for you. So without further ado, number one, your resume is your reflection of you as a professional. So if it's current, you're currently invested in your career, currently invested in your company, you can be an employee, you can be middle management, you can be the CEO of the company. But having an updated resume means you are reflecting currency and being current as a professional. That's very important. Don't let like when you get promotions or you change companies or wait until then to update it. Update it along the way. Number two, accuracy is everything. Uh, look at it from a time management perspective. If you're punctual, you are good with time management, you value your time, you value other people's time. If your resume is accurate, that means you value the recruiter. They don't have to go through sifting things. They don't have to go through looking for things. Or if, say, you are a CEO and a solopreneur and you want to have a speaking opportunity, your resume being current. So the people, the organization, the philanthropic, you know, think tank, any of them, they don't have to sift through. Accuracy is everything. So making sure it's accurate. Timely information updated is very important. Number three, employers or companies are only going to pay for what they see. So if you are currently working on something or you have a, a new job or you've changed companies and you did list out on a resume and you, you're sending it out, then companies, employers can only pay for what they see. And if they don't see it listed on a resume or if they don't see an action item or a responsibility or a duty that you have, they can't pay you for it. And the resume is the reflection of one to two pages uh, to see like, well, how much should we pay this individual, which is very important. So that's number three. Number four is you can be disqualified for jobs and opportunities by having an outdated resume. It's happened to me and it probably has happened to you too. But also think about it this way about uh, an, up, an um, outdated resume or how you can get disqualified. And this is also a combination number three. Employees can only pay for what they see. Think of the application tracking systems, which aren't only for jobs, but also for speaking engagements, proposals for um, businesses that want to do with the federal government. They have keyword searches. So if you don't, you know, if you don't have the keyword, they disqualify your proposal. They disqualify your speaking engagement. They disqualify you uh, as an employee or a job applicant. And then also a uh, your resume being outdated you're disqualified from things you don't have it up to date you don't have the up-to-date skills and even though you talk about it and you can pick up the phone and do a phone interview the paperwork it automatically the application tracking system kicks back saying well you're not qualified but then you pick up the phone with the recruiter or the contact person for the opportunity you talk and you get a completely different thing well, what you're saying has to translate and transfer to uh, what's current so that you won't be disqualified for any opportunity. And then number five uh, reason why your resume should be updated is because you can capitalize upon opportunities faster. Having something updated, just you can instantly sell it, send it out. You know all the um, information is relevant. It's current and time is money whether you're an employee you're a business owner independent contractor look at it from the other side they're probably inundated with a lot of job opportunities a lot of speaker proposals a lot of you know bank applications a, a lot of requests for proposals so you having everything ready means you're ready and that's how you can capitalize on a lot of opportunities uh, I'll give you an example for myself. I managed to uh, always, every time I get a new uh, in, 
work experience or professional certification that's applicable to the resume I send out. I always update it so when I see another opportunity that I qualify for, I can instantly send it and I know it's the most recent. So those are the five reasons from your resume being a reflection. Accuracy is everything employers and companies are only paying for what they see. You don't want to be disqualified based on an outdated resume and an updated resume enables you to capitalize upon opportunities faster. So my name is Carl R. Jenkins. I have over 15 years in IT cloud and project management. You can get in touch with me at carlrjenkins.medium.com. Uh, my email is info at carlrjenkins.com. Also, my universal social media handle is Carl R. Jenkins. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.